In addition to this big bundle, which I'm going to put in the bottom, create like a hookah culture, I'm going to show you the car in a moment. And Dom and I've decided we're going to take both of our vehicles back tomorrow and load up again because she's got a few more of these bundles and I have lots of these grow bags. Well, let me just show you. I have one of these in my car full of wood chip. There's a cloth in here. We loaded up this cloth and I have one of these one cubic yard bag and we loaded that. So now I I have one of these empty and I have to set up a second one so that, well, I could probably just put it all in one, I guess, for now. Well, the car's loaded up with wood chips and before we unload, because there's a lot more work involved in that, a quick bite, some fermented avocado and some pulled beef roast that's been seasoned with salt and pepper. And yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So just a quick bite, maybe a little bit of fermented sheep's milk, some water kefir, and then I'll show you everything else. And for Dom, I toasted lettuce, cheese, and tomato mayonnaise sandwich. Lettuce, tomato is from our garden. Cheese is a real cheddar cheese slice bought from Costco. This is power sprouted bread and store-bought mayonnaise. First thing I need to do is put all of that in that grow bag. Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you you. There's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay Every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you I have always been afraid of changes But you've shown me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you I'm going to put in and then I'm going to put a good up to about here so it's at four inches of soil and then I'll plant in it. So in case you haven't realized it yet, this is what's called a cold, a cold compost. This does not have a lot of nitrogen. Some of my other grow bags like those ones there, they have a lot of uh, that sheep, horse and chicken manure in it and they have a lot more greens. If I had to put more grass cuttings in here, 
and less of the wood chips and the straw. This would be more of a high nitrogen, right? Or a hot compost. As it stands right now, this is a cold compost. And it's, a part of my strategy is that I want this to compost slowly. I only want to have to invest in so much soil to put on top of this so that I can grow next year. And then after that, what will happen is each year this will start to uh, decompose more and more. And I'll just top it with more compost from my actual front compost way up there. That's the plan for this. And then after I'm done that compost, because I'm going to deconstruct it and put it, make it part of the garden again, then it's just a matter I will have one particular grow bag that I will use just for composting and that will be what I top up all my bags with new soil. This bag is done. It just needs dirt and then next year it'll be ready for planting. Quick overview of what exactly Dom and I did today and what all those wood chips led to. The wood chips led to the garbage cans being put here next to the strawberry tower across from the other garbage and green compost and then I was able to create one, two, three, four, five bags of foundations. This is the original one with the wood chips and the green branches that I threw in here. So tomorrow we will probably get two more full if she still has sufficient. We'll probably get two full um, one cubic bag each because we're taking both of our cars and more of the branches. So I should be able to fill all five of these bags. Now what I'm going to do before then, as you can see I started to do here, I'm going to put straw, a good layer of straw on all of this and I think thinking forward instead of just putting everything in one bag and doing twice the work like I did today, I'm going to intermix, if I can, the wood chips and straw so I will layer it as we unload it. Because we're going to get the straw first, I will already have the straw to do that. And then that way, uh, you know, it's less work for me to do in the long run. Obviously, this pathway became more narrow, but you can still bring the wheelbarrow up and down. People can take their bikes up and down. There's still space for other grow stuff here. Wow, I can't believe I just extended my garden by five cubic yard grow bags. Like I wasn't expecting that so quickly, but you know, that's the way me and Dom works. I think just the straw and then I can shut it down. It's already, wow, it's 3.30. It's only 3.30. It feels like it's about 5.36. Well, that makes sense. My watch was two hours off. It's 5.30. I knew it felt later. What's left to do today? Watering plants, and that'll take at least two or three hours, so I won't bore you with the details of that. I think I made you go through that with me one day. <laughs> I don't think I need to do it again, do I? <laughs> Um, anyway, watering plants. Earlier today I kept putting my car keys in my pants before we were ready to leave and I noticed them dangling. <laughs> I got a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I guess I'll have to add that to my list of things to do. Mending my clothes. 